Okay, I'm just uh, trying to put some detail in the ears. I'm not going to put a lot of detail tail in it because there's just so much you can do at this size. Of course, I'm sure there are people out there who can do great detail at this size, but I'm not one of them. I just do the best I can. All right, I'm happy with the face, and I'm going to put him back on the horse, or the rider, <laughs> and uh, I'm not going to have a cowboy just with his head on the horse. It's going to be a cowboy with a head. All right, be right back. Okay, it's time to start putting the neck back on. Actually, I'm going to put his head back just a little bit. There we go. Okay, I'm trying to put the uh, scarf on. What I do is I flattened some monster clay in the uh, pasta machine. And uh, I don't know. Don't know if this will work or not, but I'm going to try. Okay, I got to put some clay underneath here to uh, fill in the heavy, deep cut underneath the uh, scarf. Got to fill in underneath the uh, opening of the uh, vest.
been doing a lot of coughing the last couple of days. And it's because we have a bunch of forest fires over the middle of Idaho. The smoke is coming right up this valley and completely filling it. <coughs> it's been hard to sleep at night because all you do is lay in bed coughing. <laughs> I'm going to have to lower this sculpting stand a little bit. I'll be right back. I got a 34-inch wide area that I sculpt in. I sit in, and my sculpting stand's in, and all I, I, I'm surrounded by all my tools, my tables, and everything like that. It doesn't give me much room to move around. I can't afford a house with a big studio in it. And this is what I'm blessed with, and I am blessed with it, because at least I got some place to work on my clay. And uh, I'm not complaining by any means. It's what I got used to, and I've been working in this kind of a environment, and no matter where I go in my studios. And. Uh, it's just one of the most facts of life that uh, you deal with what you got. A gentleman asked me in my video yesterday or in the comments area what this uh, lamp was for over here, this uh, lit lamp. And I'm showing right now what I use it for. I think the back is getting too big, kind of like a hunch, hunchback now. And I've got to reduce down the size of that back a little bit. And the best way to do it is to take off a hunk of clay using a hot knife. Yeah, that works better. I haven't decided whether to put the hat on him or off of him or looking like it's flying off his head and somehow anchor it to uh, his body. I got to figure all that out real soon here. Got to hold the clay so that you can work on it without it bouncing all over the place. And uh, it ain't always easy because you got to hold on areas that you don't want to ruin the uh, detail in. And if this was any clay other than what I was using, this monster clay, it would be ruined. So. That's another reason why I decided to use Monster Clay for this character here. I'm just doing the seam in the back of the jacket. Well, I'm happy the way this is turning out. I mean, I really am extremely happy. There'd be padding in the uh, 
shoulders of the jacket. You actually start feeling the, the thick wool that the coat would have been made out of. Because it would have to keep them warm on a cold summer night. The uh, prairie can get real cold at night. All right, I'm going to have to continue this tomorrow. I'm just run out of time. All right, it's uh, getting there. I'm happy the way the back of the jacket came out. I'm glad I cut away that lump that I was developing on his back. The jacket actually looks pretty darn good right now. Nice stress areas here. And uh, stretch dresses here. Overall, I think it's going to look good. The scarf came out good. I got to get the jacket finished before I can do the back part of the scarf. So, all right, everybody, see you next time. Have a great night. And, uh, Hope it's not smoky where you are. <laughs> Good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.